Hi everyone, my name is Norman. I run the blog nimbleneedles.com and today I want to show you how to keep knitting from curling. If you're knitting a scarf or some other project in stock knit stitch, you will soon notice that the edges are curling in. It doesn't look all that pretty and it makes your project so much shorter. So how do you stop that curling? In the following couple of minutes, I'm going to show you all together seven ways to prevent that. Some of them can be applied to a finished project, while others require you to think ahead. So let's dive right into it. First, I quickly want to address why knitting is curling, because there are some wild theories online. Actually, most knitting isn't prone to curling and will stay flat quite easily. The only stitch where this really occurs is stocking knit stitch, which happens to be a popular beginner stitch. And that's because it's all knit stitches on the right side and those knit stitches are not symmetrical front and back. And this creates tension. And the curling has to do with relieving the tension and there is vertical tension on the right side and horizontal tension on the wrong side. Now the knitting takes the path of least resistance. And the thing is, it's much easier to fold stocking knit stitch vertically on the right side than it is horizontally. And on the wrong side, it's exactly the other way around. It's much easier to fold it horizontally than it is vertically. So to relieve the vertical tension, the knitting is curling in because that's the way of the tension and this is the easier direction. And on the right side, the knitting curls towards this direction because it wants to relieve this tension and it's much easier for the knitting to do so. And that's all um, there is um, you need to know. And if you understand this concept, it's much easier to figure out the remedies because all you need to do is you need to disturb these fold lines and you need to relieve the tension. So let's show you how to do that. The most common and efficient way to fix the curling is adding a selvage, a self-finished edge. These are special stitches you add to the beginning and the end of a row, so you don't need any other finishing techniques after you bound off, hence the name. There are many different ways to knit a selvage, but here are the four most popular ways. First, a garter stitch edge. If you add a three or four four knit stitches to the beginning and end of each round on both the right and the wrong side, you get this kind of edge. It can look really pretty and it keeps your fabric from curling. You can three, four or five stitches depending on the size of your project. The bigger the project, the bigger a salvage you will need. You could also do a seat stitch border. In this case, you have to alternate knits and pearls at the beginning and the end of each row. And on the return row, you have to knit all pearls and purl all knits. A slip stitch border could also be a very, very nice idea. It looks very similar to stock knit stitch and is probably the most invisible alternative. In this case, you have to add three or four stitches in double stock and knit stitch at the beginning and the end of each row. So this means knit one stitch and slip one stitch with yarn in front and then knit one stitch and slip one with yarn in front. The, the last edge I want to show you is this beautiful lace border that could be a very wonderful option for scarves. In this case, you have to knit one stitch, then do a yarn over and then knit two together. And this creates these beautiful eyelets that keep your knitting from curling. To prevent the curling at the bottom or the top of a project in stock knit stitch, you can simply add a couple of rows in garter stitch. You could also do rib stitch or double stock knit stitch, whatever you prefer. Just knit a couple of rows before you start with your actual stocking stitch. The second most popular way to prevent curling is blocking your knitting. Blocking means soaking your finished project in lukewarm water 
with mild soap for 30 minutes. Then carefully wring out the project and place it on a special blocking mat. If you don't have one, you can use a towel and place it on your carpet or something like that, a soft surface, and then pin it into shape one at a time. And once it's dry, it will keep that shape. It will also make the stitches look neater on top of that. So that's definitely a technique to keep for later project projects as well. Just make sure that you don't overstretch your knitting as you pin it down because that won't look all that nice either. For stock in stitch I have to be honest with you the blocking won't remove all the curl. So consider combining the blocking with one or two other techniques I'm mentioning in this video. Also as your finished project gets exposed to moisture in the air, it will spring back over time, so you may have to block it again. Method number three is quite simple as well, though maybe not what you were looking for. You could also use a different stitch. There are many other stitches besides stockinette stitch and they're just as beautiful. One of my personal favorite is double stockinette stitch. It looks very, very similar, but it's reversible and twice as thick. So perfect for a scarf where you really want to use and see those two sides. You could also go for a uh, brioche stitch. I love brioche stitches and as long as there are no decreases and increases it's quite easy to knit or a twisted rib or a normal rib stitch. All are very beautiful for scarves and I want you to be aware of all these possibilities. There's not just stock in it stitch and they are just as easy to knit and they all they don't curl. If you don't like to knit in a different stitch, which I can totally understand, you could also add a crochet border and a, so simply add a row of double chain stitches to every edge with a crochet hook and then block it. You can do it in the same color or in a different contrasting color, which I actually prefer. So I'm quickly going to show you. So simply add a double chain stitch into every little edge stitch. So like this and then it will look like that. If you don't know how to crochet you can also pick up stitches with your knitting needle. So like this, see like this and then knit a couple of rows across in seat stitch for example or a garter stitch but I actually like seat stitch and this will prevent um, the edges from curling in as well and maybe it's a bit easier for you. Just make sure and this is applies to the crochet as well. A knit stitch is wider than its high so you need to only in or pick up stitches every second stitch because if you insert the needle into every stitch this edge will get too dense so only pick up every second stitch like this. If adding a crochet border or a knitted border sounds too complicated for you then here's a very very easy tip. You can also line your knitting with fabric. So this will prevent curling as well. The only thing you need to make sure is that you block your knitting before you do so. And then simply pick up a very very sharp needle and uh, sew the fabric in place. There are tons of tutorials here on YouTube sh showing you how to do so, so I'm not going into great detail here. The only thing you have to make sure is that you pick a fabric that is similar in weight. So if you have a really heavy worsted yarn you probably shouldn't pick silk and if you have this delicate lace yarn maybe tweed fabric isn't a great choice either and obviously pick something that looks great. 
A very easy method to keep your knitting from curling is also knitting with bigger needles. Remember I told you that curling occurs because of the high tension. If you knit with bigger needles, your stitches get much more room to breathe and less curling will occur. This swatch was knit on 6mm needles and this is the exact same amount of rows and stitches on 4mm needles. See the difference? I mean you really should know that knitting with bigger needles will dramatically change the characteristics of your fabric but still it's a very very interesting tip to keep in mind. And last but certainly not least is a little tip for those daring enough to try. You can also intentionally drop stitches. Let me show you. So I dropped this stitch and now you can unravel it one at a time all the way to the bottom. And this will create a fringy little edge that keeps your project from curling as well. Those stitches won't unravel. And from here you can either leave it like that or graft pearl stitches with a uh, sorry gro uh, crochet hook so um, you will add a little ribbing to the side. Let me show you. So you would have to turn your knitting around um, let me unravel a bit further and then just pick up one stitch at the very bottom and then simply crochet a simple chain into those stitches. So like this. And if you turn it around you're adding this kind of pearl ridge here and this will keep your um, knitting from curling as well. Anyway, that's it. That were my seven ways to keep your knitting from curling. Please make sure to give me a big thumbs up if you like this video. Comment with your questions and suggestions and of course consider subscribing to my channel if you don't want to miss any new tutorials. Happy knitting!